can still make the whole place shimmer. When we first met, I could have never imagined how deep you would touch my heart. It's truly amazing how life has led us to where we are today. To think somebody can walk into your life one day completely unexpected and change your perspective on many things for the better seems unrealistic. But I fell in love with you so easy and so fast that I knew you were the one. That feeling that I felt and still feel every day is unexplainable. You have helped me through some of the hardest times of my life. And without you, I truly do not know where I would be. Saying you're my best friend can never fully explain what you are to me or ever describe the depth of what being my best friend means. It means that you're absolutely everything. Everything I didn't know I was dreaming of. Everything I was told to wait for. Everything I could possibly love. You're my every day, every moment, and every memory that I want to fill my life with. I love you so much, Cassandra. We have made so many memories already, and we have a lifetime of making more. There's no one in this world that I'd rather spend my life with. You are my person, my comfort, and my home. You've made me feel beautiful. You've made me feel worthy. You've made the kids feel so loved. I vow to love you unconditionally, to choose you every day. been said a few times tonight is how they met. I mean, it's, I, I would consider it fate. It's a meeting of two people in, in a random place by chance. Sunday rolls around and I call up Brandon and tell him, get dressed, I'm picking you up, and you guys guessed it, we're going fishing. <laughs> he grumbled and complained and even said he wouldn't go, like we both didn't know he was going. Well, like clockwork, he told me I was an asshole, and he said he was done with me and all my nonsense while he was on his way to the liquor store. While we were on the boat, Brandon talked about how he had seen this smoking hot blonde at Quick Trip, and Brandon said he didn't get her information or her phone number. And about five minutes after telling us, he shows us his phone, and it's this smoking hot blonde. And she didn't fail but to find him on Snapchat and sent him a message confirming he was the guy at Quick Trip. <laughs> I'm going to start by saying, this is my version of how Cassie and Brandon met. <laughs> Cassie, I'm really sorry, but Brandon said she looked at me, turned around, and went... Oh and just tried to get my attention a little bit. <laughs> I said I was sorry, Cassie. <laughs> my parents are the people who got married, and I love that they are together. Daddy Brandon, thank you for li loving Mommy and us. I am so happy you're my new dad. <laughs> I am beyond grateful to have found such a caring and sweet person to spend the rest of my life with. You make me strive to be a better person every day. I do believe in fate and destiny, but I also believe that we were only fated to do things that we choose anyways. And I'd choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds. 
in any version of reality, I'd find you and I'd choose you.